welcome to YIC Young Intellectual Club Live Talk Show A Life of Principles I am Rishit Bansal director of Society Concerned Areas of Young Intellectual Club and state level table tennis player Young Intellectual Club is a social club for children aged 12 to 18 years Young Intellectual Club core aim is to create a platform and bring together a group of intellectual people ages 12 to 18 years to exchange ideas with each other and interact with champions and legends in the community develop leadership and professional skills and also play a integral role in development and awareness of sports and non sports and have fun through society service now let me introduce a very special guest of today Mr Vinayak Devkar who is a social worker founder of Mahatma Gandhi School a school for underprivileged children and founder of Jeevan Mitra Pratishthan Charitable Trust hello sir welcome to the talk show hello good evening sir what do you think about the platform of yic yic yes sir young intellectual sir. okay actually i was not knowing about this uh, platform but uh, now two three days back i came to know about you and your this uh, platform uh, it is good young all young uh, students are coming together and uh, trying to what we have spread uh, the work what we, people like we are doing for the society okay thank you sir so can you tell us about your childhood about my childhood Yes, sir. See, actually, I was adopted from an orphanage home from a, in Pandarpur, Maharashtra, when I was three months old. And the couple, those who adopted me, they were working in stone quarry, and uh, they were at that time they were sixty years old. So when they adopted me at that time, I was three months old, and they were sixty years old. So I used to stay in Vishnandwadi in slum areas. My father, my foster father, he was used to work in stone quarry. so when i was in 10th standard at that time i lost both of them because my father was almost 80 years old and my mother she was suffering by cancer and even she was 75 years old so basically i am 10th fail after my father my foster father's death uh, i could not continue my studies due to financial issues okay sir so what was the turning point in your life the point of life was uh, when i was 28 years old at that time i was diagnosed by cardiac disease uh, on 4th october in 2001 uh, suddenly my chest uh, started paining so i visited my doctor so he asked me to go uh, go for ecg and uh, in ecg he found some problem so he said uh, you need to go to big hospital for a 2d echo and uh, Uh, tmd so after the uh, those tests and all doctor told me that uh, your wall is no wall is not working properly so you need to go for operation so at that time i was uh, staying in vishnandwadi in slum areas so i was not having money for to operate so i decided instead of so then what happened i was uh, once i was watching one orchestra in vishant bade during this uh, durga devi period so at that time one lady four years uh, lady was uh, lady came to me with a four years boy old boy his name was tushar gore and uh, even he was suffering by uh, cardiac disease so she was collecting funds for that boy for uh, to get operated so at that time i realized that uh, is a four years boy he was suffering by cardiac disease even i am suffering by cardiac disease so actually at that point of and that day i decided ki i will do something for the society wise so i started uh, collecting funds for that boy so in 2001 i collected 122000 rupees for that tushar gore wow, and uh, nice. the most important thing is that in those days people used to give me 51 rupees 100 rupees like this not 500 and 1000 rupees or 5000 or like rupees people used to give me 50 rupees 21 rupees 51 rupees 101 rupees like this so it took almost 6 uh, months to collect me 1 lakh 22000 rupees but i did it and uh, after that uh, i started working for heart patients cancer patients and uh, then I, i decided to uh, and i founded one ngo jeevan mitra pratishthan charitable trust 
which was inaugurated at the hands of Anna Azare and Jackie Shroff. So I'm very fortunate in those days, Anna Azare and Jackie Shroff accepted my invitation and they both came. And uh, almost for 12 years, I worked for heart and cancer. In 12, 12 years, I generated more than 7.5 crore rupees and distributed to needy patients. So that was how my journey started. Awesome. So, uh, what were the hurdles in your, uh, in what were the hurdles you faced as a social worker? Actually, the thing was when I started this work at that time, people used to say me that when I to tere ghar ka dekh, tere bhi vachho ka dekh, tujhe kisne bola hai samaj seva karne ke liye. You should look after your family. You should look after your kids. And instead of that, you are working doing social work. Social work is not your cup of tea. So this all tantrums were there. But uh, and then after that, I, I stopped working for uh, others. I stopped my public service. But one, uh, one day I realized that the people, those who are blessed with money, those who are having, those who are quite educated, so they are not doing anything for the society. They are having money, everything. They are blessed. They are having parents. They are having their own properties, flats, everything. But still, they are not doing anything for the society. So it doesn't mean that people, a person is having money, then only he will do the public service. He can only do the public service. So public service can be done by anyone. So I did, again, I started this. And uh, when I was uh, working for heart cancer at that time, one doctor lady, her name was uh, Gauri. She was a doctor. She was a dentist. So she gifted me Mahatma Gandhi's book, My Experiments with Truth. The story of My Experiments with Truth, which is the autobiography of Mahatma Gandhi. So after reading this book, my life, completely my life changed. Because I started thinking and realizing that okay, Mahatma Gandhi can start, Mahatma Gandhi can start uh, ashrams in South Africa. That was the two two. One is Phoenix Settlement, second one is uh, Tolstoy Farm. In India, three ashrams. So in life, in one life, he did, he did so much of work in his life. So why I cannot do in my country, in my area? So this question was troubling me for uh, almost uh, five, six, seven years. But uh, I was very firm that I will one day I will start this school for a needy people. So in 2013, uh, I went door to door to collect Raddi, newspaper Raddi. And in one month, I collected 12 lakh rupees raddi to start this school. This wow. was my funds to start school. Wow. So, when I, yeah. so when I started, then, uh, our criteria was that if we will be providing totally free education to needy widows, divorcee women, and prisoners' children. And uh, I would like to tell you that Mahatma Gandhi, you will hardly find any school in Pune providing totally free education. We are providing totally free education to 42500 previous students. Wow. And, uh, English medium, yes, and that also English medium. And uh, we don't take any kind of fees. We provide free books, bags, uniform, shoes, stationery, transportation, everything. And uh, I'm very fortunate that uh, God has given, provided me this opportunity to serve the society. Wow, sir. So, so this is my last question, and then we will start with a rapid fire round. So, which incidents made you start the Jeevan Mitra Pratishthan Charitable Trust to financially support the cardiac, uh, renal, and cancer patients? I told you that uh, even I was suffering with cardiac disease. So, at that time, I started uh, working for others. So, that was the turning point when I decided that I will uh, not come and see. Most of the people, in the lot of people are suffering by cardiac disease, cancer disease, and several diseases. But at that time, what I decided, instead of consuming three times tablets, let me do something for the society and die. Oh, so, so let's now start the rapid fire round. So, okay. which super which super power would you like to have and why? Actually, I don't want to have any superpowers. Okay, I'm happy sir. with whatever power I am, whatever power I am having now to work for the society. I am happy with that. Power. Oh, sir. sir, if you could be an any animal, why? What? What could it be? Hello, sorry. Sir, uh, if you could be any animal, who could it be? If you can you please repeat the question, I am not able to uh, listen to properly. So my question is that if you could be any animal, who would it be? Acha, hi. 
Kau. Kau. Okay, so why? Because I like mother. I love mother. Okay, wow. So, uh, one thing you would like to do to bring a smile on someone's face. See, I am very practical about all those things. See, uh, most of the people, I don't know about others, but what I do, I tell you, uh, to see, whenever I visit any hospital to visit any patient, so I don't go with fruits. I go with money. Because of when uh, some uh, needy person who is suffering by some disease and is admitted in hospital, he or she is admitted in hospital. At that time, most of the people, they take fruits and all to and go and meet them or flowers and all. But I don't take all these things. I try to generate some money and go and give them this packet so that they can uh, fight with their disease easily and as uh, what we can say that with this smile, so, without any tension. So what is the best lesson you have learned throughout your life? Best lesson. Lesson, we know how can I say about lesson? Because the only lesson is that my what I had learned in my life is that okay, you should be honest. Hard work is there, no problem. No, no, there is though there, there is no option for hard work. And uh, I am very passionate about what I'm doing. So men or women, everyone should be very passionate, whatever they are, whatever they are doing. They should be passionate. Uh, sir, if a genie gives you three wishes, what would be the, what would they be? Three. Sir, if a genie gives you three wishes, so what would that three wishes be? Three wishes. First wish my is that um, actually I want to buy one big land to start my Mahatma Gandhi school, uh, residential school. That is my first wish. Second wish is that I want to start free coma center for needy coma patients. And the third wish is my, okay, I want to open free hospital for needy patients, general patients. Wow. Because I know that most of the people, they, are, they cannot even spend money for uh, x-ray. Most of the women, those who are uh, nowadays, women are suffering by cancers. Just because they cannot, they don't have money for uh, sonography and tests and all. Because nowadays, uh, spending money on sonography is very difficult nowadays. So people are uh, fighting with all basic things. So actually, I want to start that. So and I want to start one more thing that uh, free lab, free laboratory. Wow. So, what is your favorite hobby? My favorite hobby is reading. Okay, sir. Sir, who is your idol and why is he or she your idol? My idol is Mahatma Gandhi. Okay, sir. Sir, and my last question to you is, who is your best, uh, what was your best moment in life? Best moment in my life. Best moment in my life was when I started as an NGO. Jivan Mitra Pratishtan Charitable Trust. Because, uh, as I told you, that uh, I was adopted and I uh, used to stay in slum areas. And the most important thing is that I am 10th fail. So a person who is a 10th fail, when he can start school totally uh, free education, he can provide free education to underprivileged students. So why not the people, those who are educated and those who belong belongs to a privileged family? Wow, sir. So, so I, I always say that... Uh, uh, circumstances gave me the goals and Mahatma Gandhi the guts. Wow. And you asked me one question that why I, why Mahatma, my idol is Mahatma Gandhi, right? Yes. See, Mahatma Gandhi is a personality who encouraged and inspired Dr. Martin Luther King, civil rights champion Dr. Martin Luther King, Barack Obama, and a lot of people in this world because Mahatma Gandhi is one of the person World, the world knows him. And uh, he's a, really the true inspiration for everyone. Not only for me, in uh, I think after the next 100 years also people will get inspired by his humor. Wow. So it was great talking to you, sir. 
Thank you. Thank you so much. I would like to thank uh, Mr. I would like to thank Vinayak sir for giving your valuable time and sharing key insights which will inspire and motivate the upcoming youth. I would like to thank my YIC members for helping me to conduct this talk show. I would also like to thank all the viewers for the consistent support and we will keep bringing such amazing episodes in future.